All right, am I on? Testing one, two, three. This is Mike Manduzzi from Keep On Growing. Now, I'm not going to be on long tonight, probably 20 or 30 minutes, just run my mouth a little bit. But I haven't been on for a little while, so I figured I'd just pop on here and say hey and see if anybody needs help and uh, just talk a little bit about what's going on. So if you start to pop in here, y'all let me know. Like I said, just say hey, where you're from. And uh, I'm out in a garage where there's no heat. I've got a little heater on back here. If y'all come on in here, let me know if you can hear the heater or if I need to turn it off, if it's bothering with the sound, or let me know if I even have sound. So I'll just keep talking until some people come on in. And uh, if you can hear me and you're just give me a little thumbs up to let me know. Now, um, I just want to talk a little bit the things that are getting through the recession uh, with cheap and easy hydroponics. And I know, you know, these it's getting kind of rough and we're getting towards the holidays. Some people are having a rough time. And uh, I saw some people up north were having like a, a heck of a snowstorm. It, it was just wild. So uh, some of you are growing inside. But, uh, um, you know, down here in Florida, we're still growing outside. We got a lot of stuff going on. Let's see. Thumbs up. Cool. Appreciate it. Yeah, I'm, I'm using new software here, and I just hooked everything up, did a little test run earlier, and I didn't know if I had everything on there. So appreciate it. Amanda, Sam, Patricia, Noish, how are you? You're good to go. Awesome. Thank you. Hey, Mike, from Michael Hartman. Got the gutter template. Awesome. Oh, okay. In the mail and a couple of weeks ago. Thanks. Awesome. Great. Ohio Penny. Hey, how are you doing, Penny? Florida. Sam. Yeah, I'm in Florida too. How warm are you down there? We're uh, lows getting 40s here and uh, we're getting up in the 70s during the day. So it's, it's this next week is going to be like awesome weather. Giddy. Let's see. I can hear you well. Cool. Hello from Sydney. David, how are you doing? Australia, wow. Betty, what's up? And John Adams, cool, cool. So what's everybody up to? Who's still gardening in that? Um, I just want to let everyone know, you know, what, what we do here, this channel is like cheap and easy, right? We try, try to get stuff done inexpensive, and, and, and we try to do it like as easy as possible so everyone can do it. And, uh, these are the times that this stuff is kind of built for. See, 64 right now in Pine Island. Ooh, yeah, 64 is not bad at all. Karen from Texas, hello, Nebraska. Yeah, good evening, how's everyone doing? And, um, uh, you know, sometimes th there's a lot of us that are here that have a tough time, like, all the time. And, you know, and we just like to help out as much as we can. And then when inflation and recession and everything's going through like this uh a lot more of us are like feeling the pinch and everything so this this is what this channel is built for you know it's uh anytime you can go out when times are good and we're all having fun everybody's throwing around money and and if you want to start hydroponics and go spend a couple thousand dollars and get all kinds of stuff you know you can do it but uh when times are tough you know it's not really the time to start doing that. It's time to save. So a lot of people, let me see, 28. Whoa, the only thing in my garden is garlic for next year. Amanda. Yeah, I can imagine 28 already. And uh, I think last year we only hit one day where we went down to a hard freeze over here in Florida, and, but it wasn't this chilly. Usually around uh, Christmas, we might still be running around in shorts and that over here, but... Uh, Got a little bit of a cold snap in here, but I think it's going to be all right. Um, still got all our stuff growing outside, pop choy and everything. But yeah, like I was saying, you know, it's it, it's uh, when times get tough. See what happens is we all try to save money, right? And we go shopping, and a lot of people, you know, you get your proteins because everyone thinks we need a lot of protein to to survive, and then you get your starches, your you know, potatoes, so you got your meat and potatoes or bread, cereals, rice, you know, they get all that to kind of fill you up. And the one part that people like kind of lack on a little bit or, or cut back on is actually the vegetables. Hey, Keely, thank you. That's my wife came on in here. And uh, 
that's why I like growing a, a lot of leafy greens in that. It's a, that that's the one thing, like you said, you know, some of us, you know, we're gardeners, we might all be, you know, get, you know, still buying it and that. But for the most part, a lot of people I see them cut back, you know, that when they start, you know, trying to cut back on the grocery bill, they're, they're eating, you know, they're getting cheap cuts of meat and then they're filling up with like rice, rice and beans. And uh, this way, if you keep gardening like this, it's easy to grow greens in the house. It's easy to grow them, you know, outside. Uh, and if you guys kind of watched the last uh, 28 days or last month where I had like every day I came out with a one minute short and I was just showing you how stuff was growing and coming along. You kind of saw in real time how uh, like all the pak choy grew and the kale and the lettuce. You can do that. If you do it indoors, it doesn't take up a whole lot of space. You can do it with some girl lights. When you get into other vegetables, it, it takes a little bit more care. And that's when you get into all of the, the pumps and filtrations and meters and watching your EC. And um, if you're growing greens, they're fast maturing. You can grow them. The, the off-grid hydroponics does really well. And you can do it over and over and over again. And if you're growing indoors, you start microgreens. You can have trays of microgreens that you can take that and eat and supplement. You know, you can have your meat and potatoes and you can have some microgreens on there too, right? But if you're going over and you, you learn how to do this and you do it where it becomes second nature. And like you guys see, we have like all those downspouts going, right? You can have different containers. You don't need to be in a downspout. It's just anything that holds water. And if you keep those going, when you... You finish one container off if you've got some microgreens it really literally takes only a couple of minutes to dump it out clean it out grab your micro microgreens you know put some fresh nutrients and and replant it and push it aside and that one's ready to go again and if you if you look around our place right now we got pak choy going keely is getting on to me to grow more kale but i've got like the full grow ones you've seen where we grew that you know through the 28 days then I had some more out front that were a couple weeks behind that. And then I just planted some fresh microgreens that uh, only like 10 days old. So we've got this little succession going. That's why I keep trying to tell everyone, you know, that if you learn how to do that and you keep doing it over and over to where it just comes secondhand, then your stuff is always out there. You don't have to worry about it. It doesn't sit in your fridge. It doesn't get, you know, all mushy and you end up throwing it in the compost pile. Hello, everybody. Keely, hi. Hello. Hey, hello from Oklahoma. How are you doing? Thank you for stopping in. And uh, um, these are the things, like I said, so uh, there's lots of ways to garden. There's lots of ways to do hydroponics. And a lot of the time it takes a lot of prep. It takes money to get started. And we all would like to do that. But when times are getting tough like this, you know, if you already know how to do your greens and do them over and over, then you don't think about it. It's easy. You've got this little system in place. Then if you save five, 10, 15, 20 dollars, you know, instead of buying all your lettuce and kale and all of your greens and everything, if you, you save that, you can go out and buy some more, you know, of the other stuff. So um, hello from Central Oregon. Hey, how are you doing? Awesome. Oh, Healing Hobbies. How are you doing? Hey, Mike. Here. If you also, uh, my other channel, I got the link down below, Making Money Old School, and that's where we talk about setting up YouTube channels like this. And I've been talking about healing hobbies. So, you know, if you want to check out her channel, she's been putting up little shorts and doing gardening and cracky stuff and off-grid hydroponics. But I just, I just enjoy doing it. And if everyone, you know, out there kind of uh, learned how to do that beforehand would be great. And you would just you know, do it without thinking right now. But the problem is, you know, some people wait or, or contemplate about it. And if you right now, if people start feeling the pinch, they are talking about the recession going into 2023. Me, I like to be an optimist. I like to think that, you know, things are going to get better. We're going to feel a little bit of a pinch and then it'll, it'll get better. But I know if you guys have been on the internet or the news and you, you watch everything, Everybody's saying, you know, economists and, and especially YouTube, people like to run around with their hair on fire, right, and, and worry people. But if this thing does drag on and, and goes in through next year, some people said it might even last a year or two, which is like really bad, right? But if you guys are 
older. I'm, you know, I'm in my fifties, uh, mid fifties. And there's a lot of you, you know, around my age, some of you a little older, some a little younger. If you're younger, you really haven't lived through too much. If you're a little older, you guys know these things come and go, right? We go through something bad happens, you know, things are going good. Everybody's spending money. Everybody's having fun and buying things and, and then things go south. And then we go through this little time where we got to make up and try to get back to normal. And then everybody's happy again. Then everybody's getting money. And then, you know, we had the savings and loans. We had uh, the, the housing bubble, you know, 2008. And, you know, now this is coming through. So if it doesn't, like, just pass over really quickly, you know, we we printed a whole lot of money. You know, everybody was getting uh, lots of money all through uh, lockdown. And, you know, that's why we're having, like, inflation and that. And if it lasts a while... You know, it'd be good to kind of learn these practices and uh, wintertime. If you're stuck inside, you can just start with microgreens and grow them into baby greens. You don't even have to grow a, a full garden. You can just have a rack. We have a little wire rack you guys have seen in my video. Uh, one that's 36 inches, I think, by 18 inches. And if you just take that and just start with that and just learn and then watch the videos. I've got my course and the ebook, like I said, if you guys get the ebook or the online course, the, the ebook, you can take that and it's a PDF. You can sell it to as many people as you want if you need to make some money. Um, if you want, you know, the online course, everybody who signed up for it or got the bundle, I might tell everyone this, whether they knew it or not, when I put them in the online course, if I enroll you and I send you a little note on Etsy, um, you're automatically an affiliate. I put everyone as an affiliate and they get 90%. So if you like, say give someone a link, you go into Thinkific, you, you um, sign in and then you get your affiliate link. You just pass that around. And if anybody signs up for it, you get 90% of that. You get it through your PayPal. But we talk about that on the other channel. I got the link down below and I'll be coming on a whole lot uh, more, but uh, that's the ebook, the online course. It makes it really easy. You guys can go ahead and, you know, read that. If you haven't already, go through winter time, and this is the time when you want to learn and practice. And then when we hit spring, I got a lot of stuff that's going to be coming out for spring. Um, just learn, learn that you know that this is a. Uh, I call it the continuous harvest, and I like it because that's what like Keely just expects stuff to be out there now. If I stop growing something or one type of plant. You know, she comes in, she's like, where's the basil? Or where's this? Or where's that? Right, Keely? So they're all kind of, uh, you guys can have this stuff going like all the time, get in the habit of it. And and it's just awesome. Just, you know, a lot of you out there are in the Facebook group and you're planting stuff and growing and, and sending pictures. And I just think that's awesome. And uh, there's some people, I can't remember their names. I got to, I got so many people like DM me and, and email me. Uh, there's some people that are like giving classes. Uh, they've got a local like 4-H club or uh, agriculture or ag center or, or um, community center for the elderly or, you know, it's got all kinds of things all over. And people are actually like taking stuff they're learning and, and teaching other people how to grow too. And that's, that's just awesome. Hobbies that hobbies, I love your channel. Cool. Good job, brother. Hey, appreciate it. Yeah, but that's what it's all about. So we're... You know, like I said, so if, if, if times are tough, y'all, if you need anything, let me know. Like I said, I've got all my stuff. Um, if you, you got the bundle in that, I think I'm going to stop Etsy. I started putting a link over to right to Thinkific where you can go in there, get the ebook, get the online course and all that. But people are just taking that and just selling it. And, and I don't want anything from, you know, if you get the book, just sell it to whoever makes money. I sell a bunch of them all, all the time, and I, it, it's pretty easy. Uh, what we're doing on the other channel is showing people how to, like, just start YouTube channels. If you're here, if you're commenting right now, like Healing Hobbies is, is commenting. She's got a channel. If you're commenting, you can set up a YouTube channel. Um, and then it's just taking little videos with your phone and putting them up. And then putting a link like to the ebook, you can put the ebook for sale up on Etsy. It costs 20 cents to list it. Uh, you can just email it to somebody and have them PayPal you if you want. There, there's all kinds of stuff you can do. 
but uh, on that other channel, I show people how there's a video when you, you go on the channel that take the ebook and you can take my pictures off and take my links and you can put your own on there. And there, there's just all kind of things that y'all can do. And uh, Benny, hey, how are you doing? Um, so like I said, you know, going through, you know, hopefully it's not going to last long. We're all going to be doing all right. And we'll come out of this, you know, would and just look for spring and, and we're all going to be like gardening like mad. Right. But if it does drag on, uh, you guys just keep your heads up. There's opportunities out there. It, you know, might be a little bit of a struggle, might be a little tough, but you know, maybe we can all, you know, give each other a helping hand. Brandon, how are you doing? Pretty cool. Pretty cool seeing everyone. I've just, like I said, I've, I've been a little busy. I haven't live streamed in a long time, and that's what I got this stuff all set up and said, well, I'm going to go on for a little while tonight and just say hey. But uh, y'all, uh, how many of you, like you said, some of y'all said you're from up north. Somebody said it was 28 degrees, Oklahoma, central Oregon. So lots of places. It's already getting uh, cold, right? And got some people in Florida. So we're like I said, we're still we're still growing out there. I'll I'll still be putting out videos, but I got something I'm working on, like the hydroponics, and I'm working on the heat. It seems to be like a problem that a lot of people have. And I'm working on something. I'm gonna make videos and put that out. But I was thinking too, if anybody starts channel 17 degrees, whoa, <laughs> chilly. <laughs> it's a little more than chilly. Or that's a wind chill. Wow. Yeah. Um, but my, I want to let you guys know, too, if you go over to that other channel and you look, it looks like, you know, we're talking about how to start a YouTube channel, how to, you know, um, make videos and uh, video tips and that. But I've been uploading a lot of, like, raw footage of, like, my garden. And it might look a little weird. And some of you are over there already. You, you might see those going up and wonder what's going on. But that's just, I'm putting up my content that I use, and it's just my raw footage out of my camera. I'm not editing it or anything. It, you know, it take me too long to do that on all the videos. But uh, if any of you do have a channel like Healing Hobbies and that, um, Cape Coral, Florida, hey, Joe, um, you know that when you go to film something, you film it over and over and over. Maybe, you know, if you, you do a one shot, you're like lucky, right? But you film it over and over and then you bring it in, you cut it and you might have like minutes worth or, or an hour's worth of videos and you cut it down to make a YouTube video. And, uh, if me, you, if, if all of us that are here, if I put up any content, we can all take it. Our edits will all be different. Some people make it fast paced. Some people do it slow, different music, narrating, we can all make different videos with the same raw footage. So over on that other channel, I'm putting up my content and, and it's creators common, um, copyright free. So if you guys haven't been over there yet, like I said, the links down below to, it's called making money old school. Uh, anybody can take it and put it up and, and I'm trying to organize it, but I've got like terabytes of, of footage to put up and I've got to watch them to make sure I didn't like, put something that's not supposed to be in there like somebody else or or house number or license plate or something so I've got to go through like footage and make sure uh nothing you know it won't be something that somebody will get in trouble for posting so other than that so I'm putting up the videos it's for raw footage anybody can use it you guys can go over there if you know how to just download it and I'm putting up some vertical videos which is what YouTube shorts good way to get traction we talk about that on the other channel uh one minute videos in vertical format so i'm putting up the the videos in vertical format i'm filming my stuff in my garden you guys feel free to take that the people who bought the bundle uh i got a bundle that's like 99 dollars, and and it's on sale right now for about 30 and the people that signed up for that i've been putting some of those videos up there but you're going to be getting you know the more recent ones. I put some recent ones over on making money old school, but I'm also going to be editing it a little bit uh, and cutting out a lot of the, you know, stuff that we really don't need so that you don't have to scrub through like a bunch of raw footage to find it. And I'm actually going to be making 
little ads or little short videos. Um, some of them I'm not even going to, if you guys have seen some of them, I've been doing it where you just see my hands and you don't see my face. And then that way you guys can take that and put your own narration on it. You can put your own music on it and you can take it and just upload it. If you, if you're here on YouTube, you can just start uploading it just to test it. YouTube loves new people. Uh, they want to get you hooked and they want to get you interested and they're really pushing shorts right now. So you can start a channel and you can put up little videos that are less than one minute and see if anything happens. So you can go take my videos, the ones that don't have my face and my hands and that, and just put some music on it. Uh, we'll talk about it on the other channel. If you need to know about music and licensing, so you don't get in trouble, YouTube has their own music you can put on it. Um, if you don't know anything about that, Come over to that other channel and ask some questions. But if you already know how to do videos and you've already got a channel, take my content if you want. You know, you don't have to make a video about it, but you can take it and use that for B-roll or, you know, that you can film stuff that's in your garden. And sometimes it's good to have like other stuff in there, you know, like little bees or lizards and, you know, whatever's in my garden or, you know, well, I've seen this guy, you know, you don't even have to say it's me. Just this guy grow like this. I'm going to try it this way. There, there's a, a bunch of different things to do. So I wanted people to see. And if you've been on that other channel, I put up a one minute short and um, I'll do a little video and, and just put it up or you can just go look at it. And I took the same, basically the same video and I did it four different ways. I think one was without music, one was with uh, lo-fi music, one was with uh, upbeat kind of music, and one I did like a little narration with you saw on this channel with uh, aliens, and uh, you know, it was like a little story, right? Um, and all of them got hundreds of views, and it was all the same video. So I think we can all like take the videos, edit them, put it up, and the people who, like I said, if you're in the Thinkific course. And when you sign in, you see the keep on growing online course. And if you see the downloadable content and you're enrolled in that, I'm going to be taking like edited videos like that and put it up there where you can just take it, hit a download button and Thinkific and you get that video. And then you go ahead and edit the way you want, put it up. And I think that'd be pretty cool. You know, if like loads of people were like, just, you know, showing everyone how to grow like this. Uh, if it, everyone had the garden like this around, you know, it'd just be awesome. What video editor do you recommend? Um, it depends on your, the capabilities of what you have. I edit on a laptop. Uh, some people edit on their phone. Uh, I started in, what's my channel, up to around 90-something thousand. Uh, up to 90,000, I used HitFilm Express, the free version. Um, most places have a free version and, and a paid version. HitFilm uh, did okay for me. For They did great. I, I, my first 90000 was with HitFilm. The only problem is the last couple of months they upgraded. And, you know, we're talking about vertical video. Um, if you have landscape video, uh, you render it. When you have a video and you're done editing it, you have to render it out. And if you rendered landscape, then you'd have to change uh, the dimensions to a vertical. And it would do it in the editor, but when I went to render it out, it said you need the paid version. After I used it for like four or five years. So um, I switched to DaVinci Resolve. Uh, that's a little more work on your computer. So if you, I've always had like the cheapest computers. So I was using HitFilm and that worked good. Uh, DaVinci Resolve, if your computer's a little better, you can use that. And they got a free version and, and it does a lot more than HitFilm did. Fixing to be living in a pop-up sucks because I can't grow any. Aw, oh. oh, Susan, two kids and myself, crowded. Bright side it is, it's cheap living. Something growing with the warm weather. Yeah, you got to wait for the warm weather. Oh, we'll be thinking about you. I started growing because of you. Oh, that's cool. That makes me feel good. Me too. Cool. Yeah, so if you get you guys, um, what do you call it? If you need to uh, make money old school, that other channel, 
you can go over there and like on any one of the videos, uh, just leave me a comment. Or I think uh, my Gmail over there too is making money old school. You, you go on over there and check it out. And it says making money old school at gmail.com. And if you got questions, I'll, I'll help you guys out, you know, as best I can. I was going to come on and do live editing over there. And that's why I set everything up. But like I said, I don't have the best computer. And running the software is this one. I've got to run OBS. I got to run uh, YouTube to stream to it. And then when I turned on uh, my uh, editing software that eats up a lot of the memory, everything just freezes up. So what I'm going to try and do is like the shorts to, to show people, because once you know how to edit a short, you can edit a longer video, right? I'm going to go ahead and uh, maybe offline, I'll just record myself going through the little edit and I'll put that up. Here's lots of videos out there. If you get like DaVinci Resolve, you can just go look up, you know, how to edit beginner's guide for DaVinci Resolve, beginner's guide for Hit Film Express, uh, for cap cut. Um, if you're just editing on your phone, there's another one, Filmora. Uh, I think that you get a watermark on that if you don't pay for it. There's like a, a paid version. Um, every, every one of them, they're basically the same. So if I show you how to do a jump cut, and if you guys are just starting out, I want to get fancy. You're gonna, that's the problem with getting on YouTube and, and looking something up is you go down a rabbit hole and they'll be saying, you need this, you need that, you need to do B-roll, you need to have the perfect lighting, you need to, you know, just all kinds of stuff. And when I started on YouTube, I had a crappy camera. It was a Nikon point and shoot, no interchangeable lens. Uh, and we use that for our first uh, 10,000 followers. Let's see. We keep the containers closed up. Best possible. We also tried putting in new garlic and water. What kind of work? With hydroponics, how do you keep the mosquitoes away? Yeah, you just got to kind of keep it sealed up as much as possible. Um, and if you can put aeration in, say I got 20 or 30 containers going at any time, sometimes more. If I tried to put aeration in everything, I had tubes going everywhere. If you've only got uh, three or four, you might be able to put air pumps, put some... Uh, uh, stones in there and get the water moving. Charity Ranger, how are you doing? Seattle winter makes me sad. Yeah, because you can't grow a garden. Yeah, y'all probably cold up there. My boyfriend made me a PVC grow pipe tower today. Oh, that's awesome with the pool noodles. I'm so excited. Awesome. Cool. Keep us uh update on how that goes. And if you if you want, you know, just going over to uh, Facebook. We got a group over there. It's called Keep On Growing. You'll you'll know it's me. You'll recognize the thing. Join that group and just share what y'all are doing. Sounds awesome. Inside it really cold out here in Ger Oh, yeah. Germany. Yeah, but it's so uh, we'll talk more about like editing over on that other channel if y'all want. Over here, you know, we'll talk about like the gardening and that, but I just want to let people know there there's things you can do. You know, just growing your own food is going to save you money. And like I said, if you learn how to do this thing with the greens that continues harvest and do it over and over and over, then if you want to grow some tomatoes or cucumbers or peppers, you know, you can try that out. But have your greens going so that that way you get a store, you won't have to worry about it. Then once you learn how to do that, that's simple, right? I don't have one here. It's cold. I took everything back outside to sit in the sun. Once you learn that, just off-grid hydroponics is, you know, putting nutrients in a container, putting a plant uh, a couple other little basics in that you guys can show other people to do it. And that's why I want everybody to start channels because there's an opportunity to make a revenue stream. You know, that's long term. It takes a little while to get that going. Uh, if you show people how to do it, you can put links down in the description. Like a lot of you have just followed over to my link and went to Thinkific or Etsy or Amazon and, you know, and, and purchase something there. So, you know, that's what we show you guys how to set up. Um, if you do that, you can, you can make a revenue stream. And, and right now it's, it's an awesome time because it's cheap and easy. Uh, these, these are the times, you know, it's easy to start a channel and say, Hey, we're going to do this. Look, I bought $2,000 worth of stuff and look what I did. And everybody can be excited about it. But 
when times get tough, nobody really wants to do that, right? And if you guys know how to do this, it doesn't take an expert. You know, I keep things simple as can be. All of you can learn this. This is, this is simple. And once you learn this, it's not like going to school for a year or four years or anything, right? You can learn this. If you take the course, you can learn it in a day. And you can show other people. And then people are willing to save time and money and effort if you show them so they don't end up going down a rabbit hole. If you get on, like I said, when you learn to edit videos and you jump on YouTube and you say, how did a uh, beginner's guide to editing on DaVinci Resolve, a couple of things that pop up, you'll start doing that. Then I go, YouTube will put a bunch of videos up there like, yeah, and people will be going, you need to do this. The one thing you need to do, you, you know, and, and all of a sudden you're like, you know, with information overload, people come on looking how to grow uh, hydroponics, how to do, you know, um, grow their own food. And they'll go down those rabbit holes too. And they'll end up watching cat videos and, and, and who knows what else. And if you can take them and show them an easy way, say, Hey, don't waste your time. You know, how much is your time worth? Right. And you can sit down and, and within, you know, I've got 12 videos at 10 minutes. What's that? And you read an ebook, you know, in an afternoon, you can watch it and learn it. And you save them, you know, probably a week of sitting on YouTube watching a hundred different videos. So all this stuff is easy for people to do. Um, and if you guys have problems, that's what I set the other channel up for. If anybody has questions about this or that, we'll be over there, you know, we'll help you out. And uh, I, I'm just going to spend this time and, and try to help as many people as I can through these tough times. And then when things get better, we just go back to being happy and growing lots of shit. Right. All right. What's going on? Uh, have you grown? No, uh, we're in Florida, so we're not, we're not allowed to grow anything like that. Sounds awesome. Facebook group. Yeah. Okay. Appreciate it. Keely. That's a Facebook group. If any of y'all want to go on over there, but yeah, I, I try to get in the Facebook group in between this. I've got a couple channels and uh, processing orders and, and doing everything. Uh, I tried to get over to Facebook, but there's a lot of people over there that if you go in there, if you got questions about growing, even if it's not just our off-grid hydroponics, there's some people in there that just have traditional gardens. Uh, ask a question, and, and usually somebody else is happy to jump on there and, and help you out. There's a lot of cool people in there. And let's see. So it's about half an hour. I'm going to go ahead and take off. If you guys have any questions about all that so far, uh, let me know real quick. I'll be on for about another five minutes. And uh, if not, like I said, if you need help, reach out. Um, hopefully people learn how to grow their own food. Watch the videos. You know, I got different playlists. This is cheap and easy. And I think that it'd be cool that, you know, if we could get the whole world doing this, right? If it's just me here, like yelling out a message, I reach you, you know, we reach so many people, but if all of you are doing like me and then that goes out and that goes out, that's what we're trying to do is just catch everything on like wildfire. So, um, that's why I'm not worried about everything being Mike Van Duzzi or whatever, you know, you guys take the information, you take my stuff, change the name, make it your own, go out there and do just like I'm doing it and just you know, teach other people to do it too and uh, encourage them to do the same. And before long, you know, we are making a difference. There's a lot of people, I, I get DMs all over. Oh, I want to say one thing too, um, because a lot of you don't have, uh, you know, like access to all my stuff. Uh, like I said, you know, people send DMs and say thank you and this and that. And I tell you guys, you know, they're thanking all of us. Some of the people say thank you. I've never heard or seen them and they're talking about a group or something on Reddit or somewhere where I've never been. So word gets around. Right. And, uh, but I just want to say if anybody, my other video, my last video, I talked about a world grace project and Karen and the project that she's doing. And a lot of you went over there and ordered the end caps. I don't make the end caps anymore. And a lot of you went over there and did it. And she sent me a, an email. She didn't even know I was going to do that. You know, that's what we do is we just help other people, right? Without any expectations. But she wrote an email and said, thank you that that helped. 
um, the people that she's working with. And uh, I'll get that email. I'll, I'll post it on our community tab or whatever so y'all can see. But uh, that's really saying thank you to all of you. You know, all of this stuff is not, you know, this isn't just just me. This is, you know, us out there trying to make the world a better place. So I'm going to be taking off. Any questions? Let's see. Yes, thank you, Multiplicator. Thank you, thank you, Only Hemp. Yeah. And that's okay. If there's no more questions, I'm going to take off. Um, I'm going to be coming on a lot more. If you guys have questions about this or anything, uh, keep on growing one at gmail.com. If it's about running your own channel on that, we're on making money old school, gmail.com. I'll uh, try to get to as many people as I can. And if we need to, we're going to start having little uh, private live streams where we'll have just a handful of people. If you've got questions, you know, like beginner and intermediate you know people who like no idea what editing is we have like little beginners uh classes and that where we'll just get together just have fun and it won't be on a live stream like this where we just turn on it'll be like we're sitting in a room together and if anybody has questions i just like live stream going through a little video and then we'll have more advanced ones for everybody else would it's going to take a little while probably through the holidays just to get people grouped into different levels and and what people need help with but um me and keely we're, we're trying to put a lot of stuff together i'm excited so like i said you know on that other channel trying to get things separated so you can see it you know there's a lot of videos on there that are just raw footage you guys want it go get it it's creative commons uh you can use it however you like um if you uh, need help with gardening the continuous harvest, the stuff that we do, just email me about that. And uh, uh, anything else, Keely, anything else? Healing hobbies, thank you. Let's see, keep the content coming, bro. Yeah, yeah, we're going to do that. Like I said, and that's why um, I'm not making too much the pro products, and that's why I was showing you the different people that actually make it and where to get it. Uh, I like doing it, and I like helping people. But every time I do that, I'm, I'm up to hearing orders and, and then that's all I'm doing. And I don't get a chance to actually garden and, and edit videos and, and help people. And I, I want to spend more time through the holidays here because, you know, times are rough. Just helping as many people as I can. I figure if other people can actually make the product and make a little money at it, too, uh, then it helps all of us. Right. All righty. I'm going to take out Julie. How are you doing? And I have, let's see, ebb and flow, deep water culture. Yeah, I was thinking of moving, crack key, what's simpler. Um, the ebb and flow, you, you've got to have pumps, uh, siphon, uh, deep water cultures. Okay, it's kind of like a floating raft system. And basically, that's the same thing as a crack key, except you have uh, air stones or some kind of aeration or filtration. Um, you know, uh just cracking off grid hydroponics is like the simplest thing to do. Thank you, Florida. Hey, Florida. Shout out. This is exciting how a lot of eyes are being open to gardening. Thank you all for what you do. Yeah. Okay. Farmer V, how are you doing? Yeah, that's cool. That's what we want, right? So we'll just sign off with that. Like we said, you know, food's a necessity of life. We all need it, right? Uh, we need air we need water we need food and the sad thing is we depend on somebody else for almost all of our food and the more people get self-sufficient learn how to grow their own food we can't feed the world but maybe we can teach the world how to feed itself Alrighty, you guys take care love y'all